fastest ready because the action is going to get hot and heavy. Hello, everybody. Ted Webb and the North American Wrestling Association. And what a card we have for you tonight. Joining me at ringside, the living legend, six-time world heavyweight champion, Luthez. How are you, champ? Thank you very much, Ted. I'm very good. Thank you. Boy, we enjoying the matches. Tonight. We got some great ones tonight. We got Bo Reagan and Vince Torelli in action as a tag team combination. Cowboy Bob Orton is going to be with us. We're going to be seeing Colt Steele, the nasty boys. I mean, I, I, I tell you that we're going to be seeing the best in professional wrestling tonight right here. Some real heavy hitters here, and I'm really going to enjoy watching them. Right? You can always learn something from someone. Well, I tell you what, as you know, that North American heavyweight uh, tournament is coming up. It's right around the corner. So guys like Ricky the Dragon Steamboat getting themselves psyched up, prepped up, because the tourney is certainly whoever wins the belt is going to be making a lot more money, and that's the name of the game. Tag team tournament also around the corner, and the Nasty Boys have already stated that they're ready for one, they're ready for all. The American Bulldogs are ready for one and for all. I can't wait. It's going to be exciting. You ready for action? Well, I sure am. The tag team thing is going to be a really an exciting thing. Yeah. Let us turn it over to our ring announcer, Fabian Fuentes, for our opening match tonight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this match is a one fall with a 10-minute time limit tag team action. In the ring at this time, weighing 235 pounds from North Chicago, here is Speedy Gonzalez. His partner, weighing 275 pounds from Knoxville, Tennessee, here is Hunter Thompson. Speedy Gonzalez. Bo Reagan, who has come under the tutelage of Paul Jones in recent months, and you can certainly see the difference in his wrestling style and in his wrestling ability. And Vince Torelli, what can you say about the youngster? Certainly championship caliber, Lou. Well, this young boy, Vince, um, has a real aptitude for the sport, and uh, you can pick him out, you know, out of a crowd. It's very easy. You can get a line up a dozen wrestlers, and if you're really wrestling over again, you can choose one immediately. Nice yes. arm drag from Speedy Gonzalez. Yes. And uh, I, I think this boy Vince is going to go places. Well, Bo Reagan right now uh, certainly uh, got his uh, hands full with Speedy Gonzalez. The young man, this bull is really put together. Right. He is a good amateur champion too, Lou. I heard that he was an amateur wrestler. All right. I hope he graduates into being a good professional. Well, he certainly has the ability. He won the uh, New York State Championship. He's got all kinds of titles in college, and Paul Jones spotting him. And you got to say this about Paul Jones, he's got a great eye for talent, Lou. Oh, sure. Well, with the amateur background this young man has, why, he's got a real head start on most people. You're going to see quite a bit of Paul Jones being exhibited in the styles of Bo Reagan and Vince Torelli. Barring that arm, applying the pressure, Gonzalez right now feeling the heat. Instead of the large, bulky muscles, Bull and also this boy uh, Vince, they had the long muscle, good for the long haul. No doubt about it. Into the ring comes Torelli, or Torelli, bridging, going for the pin, kicking out is Speedy Gonzalez. One of the things we teach constantly, bridge, 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 that way you can't get pinned. Hard to pin somebody who's got those shoulders off the ground, huh, champ? That's right. Into the ring now is Hunter Thompson. Nice takedown by Torelli. There's an amateur move. Oh, yes. Yeah, blocks the heel, pick him down. Torelli applying the pressure. Looking for a handle. There he goes. <laughs> He's got it. I'll tell you what, we get letters from all over the country, and uh, the, the questions are all the same. Is Vince Torelli single? Does he have a special woman in his life? I mean, the women love this man. I can imagine, yeah. A tremendous specimen of machoism. <laughs> tremendous to play. And Hunter Thompson. Thompson knows now that Torelli came to play. One, two, 
Count of two, near pin. She did it very well. Yes, she did. Back into the corner, the tag is made with Bo Reagan. Reagan into the ring, continuing to apply the pressure, hooking the leg, cradles it. One, two, tops and kicks out. That small package is really a super. You can beat a fella very quickly with it. No doubt. And notice again that they're working on that left arm of Hunter Thompson. They were working on the left arm of Speedy Gonzalez, and that appears to be the game plan for at least the early part of the match. Conditioning is so important. I can see that Vince and this boy, uh, the, the, the amateur that we're speaking of. Well, Reagan. Reagan. Uh, they're really in good condition. Makes a lot of difference. No doubt about that. And that, of course, is one of the prerequisites of tremendous chop into a headlock. That's one of the prerequisites of a Paul Jones uh, team. Condition. You've got to be in tip-top condition. All throughout his wrestling career, Paul Jones was and used it to great advantage, Lou. Lou, speaking of condition, you look like you're in tremendous condition. You look like you could suit up and go in there tonight and go a couple of falls. Well, that sounds very boastful. I could. I still train five days a week. And it shows, champ. And it shows. I like riding a bike. You never forget, you know. Look at that bridge. That's what we're talking That's about. The whole thing. You, you control your man. He's holding the man down with his head, if you notice. Know he uses his head, uses his legs, uses his entire body. Hunter Thompson. Referee Byron Richard checking to see if he wants to submit. Look at the look at the face in Torelli. He's, he is a natural athlete, Lou. We have talked about him time and time again. Well, could have been a professional football player with the uh, San Diego Chargers. Yeah, it could have been, but he's holding him on. I think he's going to really excel as a wrestler. He's really, uh, he's on his way. He's got it all. He's yeah. got the speed. He's got the power. He's in great condition, and he's got a great mentor in Paul Jones. That's a mental agility. I'm watching the way he works. He's always one jump ahead of his opponent. Other wrist lock. That's his room. He's working on two body parts right now. Has that right. arm bar, and then, of course, the pressure being applied to the neck. Lou, exactly what does that head scissors do to a wrestler when he's, when he's caught in that situation? Well, I've got a couple call flyers. That's one of the things that happens. And uh, many other things. You can control your man pretty well. And while he's, while he's really working very, very hard, suplex. And again, he nearly got him. <laughs> suplex and hooking the leg. Notice that the guy yeah. uses every advantage. Uh, doesn't leave a stone unturned. Here's Bo Reagan with a tremendous. Well, it looks like he has him up for a souffle, and he does. Whoa. Real control. Hunter Thompson bang hard. He hooks the leg. Two, three. Well, it was a count of two. It looked like three to me. It's a tough it job for the referee today. I'd say two and a half it was. Yeah. Oh, so close. The tag is made to Relly now into the ring. Hunter Thompson off the ropes. Straight. And it does. That's it. Hooks the leg. One. That's the hole I've been teaching for the past five years, belly to belly. I picked it up in Russia. Well, I'll tell you what, he, he certainly executes it as good as anybody I've seen recently. And Champ, why don't you describe the action as we go to our slow motion instant replay. Well, what happened here is the belly to belly, you, you bridge all the way back and then switch in midair, and you got to be in real good condition and have great timing to do it. Takes a lot of power. That's where your bridging comes in again. The winners, Paul Reagan and Vince Torelli. Keep your eyes on them as the North American Wrestling Association continues. Getting 230 pounds from Raleigh, North Carolina, here is Jerry Price. His partner, weighing 215 pounds from Monroe, Daryl Woodworth. Their opponents to my left. Weighing 252 pounds from Venice Beach, California, Colt Steele. And his partner weighing 250 pounds from Minnesota, Brad Anderson. Well, the tag team combination of Colt Steele and Brad Anderson taking on Jerry Price and Daryl Woodworth. And Colt Steele, the subject of a lot of controversy, champ, uh, just a few weeks ago, completely turning his uh, back on his home state of North Carolina, saying he was moving to Venice Beach, California. And uh, that certainly has angered a lot of the faithfuls in uh, the North Carolina area that have come out here to boo him and boo him loudly. And he's teaming up with a tremendous wrestler in Brad Anderson, who comes from uh, great bloodlines. We uh, all know about the Minnesota Anderson clan. He is the son of uh, Gene Anderson. And uh, boy, a guy who came out here and, and can flat wrestle. 
Well, the Andersons have a background that uh, you, you know, anyone will recognize, and uh, I think the man from California would it would behoove him to stay here and, and pursue his career with this young man because uh, wrestling isn't that great in California right now, and I think this is a really the seat of wrestling culture at this particular time. Colt Steele with a side headlock on Jerry Price in the ring right now. Steele applying the pressure. Firing away. And, of course, uh, he had his back to the referee, Ron West. Ron West cautioning him now about using that closed fist. Many years ago, I'm sorry. I was just going to say Price still wobbly. Many years ago, that would not have been permitted, but today it seems to be all right. Well, it's, it's against the rules, but it just seems that it's done a lot more than it should be, champ. Yes, you're absolutely right. I mean, if people want to see a boxing match, there's plenty of those. That's right. Nice hit by Dick down. Jerry Price and Coach Steele says, wait a minute. Adam, Adam coming in. Brad Anderson talking to Ron West saying he used the hair. Anderson checking with Price, and it was obvious he didn't use the hair, champ. not, no, no. But once that momentum is up, it's difficult to stop in midair. You can't switch, you know. Collar and elbow in the middle of the ring. Colt Steele and Jerry Price. This match, a 10-minute match. Australian tag team rules in effect. Into the corner, referee Ron West calls for the break. And the big knee to the midsection from Colt Steele. And whoa, did he pack it up with a tremendous oh, right. Him in there. Man, is he landing him in there. Taking target practice on Jerry Price's head. Colt Steele with a turnbuckle train, but it's reversed. Ah, uh, that is with that ring savvy. Now, big dude's heavy. He's got yeah. a lot of power. A lot of power, and I'll tell you what, Luthez, this guy has that sadistic streak to him. He likes it. Loves to hurt people. Into the ring now, Brad Anderson. Yeah. Anderson firing away. Chop across the chest. Jerry Price right now in trouble. Off the ring ropes and catches an elbow. And this kid, Brad Anderson, is 250 pounds. He's no small guy. No, he's a powerful guy. Take a look at him. He's put together. Put together well. Going to work on that neck again. Front face lock. Into the ropes they go, and Ron West calling for the break as the tag is made. Colt Steele back into the ring and plants one of those big boots to the side of the rib cage. Boy, that'll have you breathing hard. If at all. <laughs> if at all. If at all. This Colt Steele is a big man, a rugged man. Yes, he is. Yes. And you notice there, Jerry Price's punch had no authority. Slam. Price is stunned. Fantastic. Bucking that leg one, two, but he powers up. The big dude has good reflex. Yes, he does. Quick for a guy that big, isn't he? He sure is. Ron West calling for the break. As Colt Steele was applying the choke. Ramming that head into the canvas. That's a tough way to eat that canvas, man. Well, I'm going to tell you what, bring a couple of aspirins with you, because that will hurt. And Anderson, of course, giving him a nice target with that foot. Steele ramming the head. He's hurt. Lou, he is hurt. Well, he's done a lot of catching in there. He should do some pitching. <laughs> well, he should do some tagging right about right now. now. Anderson, ruthless competitor. Come on, come on. There's another boot. They continue to work that shoulder in the side, the left side of Jerry Price's body. A great reversal. Jerry, tag, will you? Anderson making the tag. Anderson and Steele staying fresh throughout this match. Jerry Price catching the front of the punishment loop. He sure is. Ted Webb and Luthez ringside as the North American Wrestling Association brings you the finest in professional wrestling. Colt Steele in the ring against Darrell Woodworth. Woodworth was fresh going in, but he caught a boot to the side of the head. There's another knee lift. Yeah, Anderson and Steele seem to be a little much for these guys. They just, they're really, they're really a team match. It just seems to me, if you're going to wrestle a, a team like Coach Steele and Brad Anderson, you've got to be a little more aggressive than Jerry Price and Darrell Woodworth have been today. You've got to get their act together because you got to know what, you got to in a second guess the other person and find out what they're thinking. Counter maneuvers right now, put them aside. You better be a little more aggressive and do the attacking. There's the tag again, and Brad Anderson gets into the ring. We're going to work on the side of the body. <laughs> softening them up. <laughs> Telling you. Going after that bread basket. 
Lula, let me ask you, when you go in there against an opponent, do you look in there and if you see a ripple or two extra, is that the part you attack? Yes, oh, good. If you see a weakness anywhere at all, if you see the tummy's a little bit soft, boy, that's good, man. I like that. They've been working on that. Sure. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Makes the tag. The legal man in the ring right now is Cold Steel. We've seen this Watch one. This yeah. We've seen this one before. Full throttle. <laughs> wow. He's going to cover his man. That's one, mean, man. Two, three. That's tough. How can you walk away from something like that? We've yet to see someone do it when Cold Steel applies that. What that's do you heavy. call that, champ? Oh, that's heavy stuff, man. What yeah. do you call that hole? That's a reverse slam. A reverse slam. The winners of this match... Cold Steel and Brad Anderson. Let's look at it on slow motion instant replay. Champ, describe the action. Well, what are you going to put him up in the shoulders there like this? Now, this looks like an easy go for him. Watch him uh, lean forward. Puts both of the weight right on top of him. Just, it's like a snap thing. It's just like packing a whip. Don't go away, because coming up next, we're going to be talking to some interesting people, and then you're going to see the cowboy in action. This is the North American Wrestling Association. Mm. I've noticed that since your partner Baron Samidi is in Japan that you have sampled other tag team partners, but I see yourself uh, taking on a little single competition. What's the reason for this? Well, the tournament coming up naturally is a reason, you know, you've got some tough guys in that tournament. Vince Torelli looks like he's going to be a hard man to beat. You got Luthez, the great Luthez coming out here. And he's endorsing a man named Mark Fleming, so this guy's got to be tough. He got Steamboat. There's some very tough wrestlers around here, and a man has to stay in peak condition at the top of his game if he's going to do well. But I always take care of the cowboy. Oh, yes, I do. Let me ask you something. Do you enjoy being in there as a solo as opposed to being a tag team partner to someone? It doesn't matter to me. See, not like most people have to get up in the morning and they feel terrible and they got to go to work and they hate their... I love what I do for a living. Getting in there making people suffer is one of the greatest feelings in the world. SNO, Orton and Samiti, you better look out because there's another man who loves to put pain on people. And I know the Nasty Boys are a tough tag team, but you see me and Samidi, I don't think anyone can take the pressure that we put on people. We're constantly, constantly making them suffer, making them sweat. Blood and guts, Daddy, that's the way you got to get in there and dig it out. And if people don't like it, they should find themselves a dishwashing job. Do something else, because when you step in there with me, you're going to know you've been in a wrestling match. Well, no, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what, Cowboy, there's a combination I'm very interested uh, in hearing your comments about, and that is, of course, uh, Spike and, uh, and Rex, the American bulldogs <laughs> now those are kids who completely they don't care about their own body they don't care about nothing these guys do some of the wildest craziest things i've ever seen but it's impressive and it does get the job done they're going to be tough but like i say again i mean you're looking at wrestling personified you spell wrestling o-r-t-o-n and there ain't nobody out there can doubt that you know it's not <laughs> Yes, it is, too. I just love torturing me. We'll be right back. <laughs> right, weighing 240 pounds from Goldsboro, North Carolina, William Ford. <laughs> to my left, weighing 250 pounds from Kansas City, Missouri, Cowboy Bob Orton. There he is, all smiles, but once that bell rings, off business. Cowboy Bob Orton, three-time Florida State amateur champ and the son of the legendary Bob Orton Sr. And he's in there against a guy who's got a little boxing background in William Ford, Lou. Well, you better score a knockout pretty quick, is all I can tell him. You better go after him right now. This guy's a toughie. This guy is a toughie. Whether he's wrestling as a single or whether he's wrestling as a tag team combination, awesome competitor. No yeah. quit in Bob Orton Jr. You got it. I know. I know. Real competitor from the bottom on. He comes by it honestly. Referee for this match is Byron Richard. Orton off to a slow start tonight. Normally by, by this time, fireworks would be flying. While they're into the ring ropes, calling for the break. There we go. We got the fireworks. Oh, yeah, he gets started. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We know you didn't have to wait long to see Bob Orton Jr. go to work. Firing away William Ford's stun right now. And I tell you what, here's a guy you better be aggressive with, because if you give Bob Orton an inch, he's going to take that oh, yard. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Bob 
Bob is very innovative with some of his moves. He, he came up with some originals. Uh, I saw him last week, and he did a uh, suplex off of the uh, second rope, and no one's ever done it before. No, he does that on a regular basis. Yes, Luke. I know. He and, and, and every week seems to get a little higher and a little higher and a little higher. <laughs> he does it. Yeah, he's invented it. He likes the way they fall. <laughs> he loves it. I mean, he's flat right out tell you. He's told me on several occasions that he loves to hurt people. I believe he, it. He's not just here to win matches. He actually wants to punish people. That's his payoff, huh? <laughs> now, right about now, William Ford is wishing that he would have followed in the family tradition and gone into the car business. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> I guess so. What are they him about? Look at that. Yep. Uh -huh. Got him like a pretzel right about now. Uh, I guess he's wondering, what am I doing here? Well, he's in there against some of the toughest. If you just joined us, this is the North American Wrestling Association. Ted Webb with Luthez at ringside. Bob Orton Jr. in the ring, in the blue trunks, taking on William Ford, exchanging punches. And uh, I tell you, despite having a great amateur boxing career, William Ford right now is running into a guy that uh, packs a pretty mean right. I'm telling you. <laughs> what a Too surprise much. that was yeah. to him. He thought he was going all the way to the other corner. And then all Full of a sudden, the clothesline. Full of surprises. You'll be seeing the Nasty Boys and the American Bulldogs in action. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. And a whole lot more on the program today. Bob Orton, whose partner, Baron Samidi, currently wrestling in Japan, should be joining us again soon in the North American Wrestling Association. Bob insisted that he went to Japan. He wanted him to go out there and get a little bit of that foreign competition. Well, Bob did very well in Japan. Bob did excellent there. Yeah. I guess he wanted the Baron to get that Japanese experience so that yeah. when he'd come back, uh, he'd be in great shape for that uh, North American Wrestling Association Tag Team Tournament. I'm sure he wants that, of course. Top flight partner, how could he lose? <laughs> Head says he's applied on William Ford right now, referee calling for the break because he was obviously choking him there. Catching a knee to the side of the head is William Ford, who right about now is is running on empty. You know, before you run into a fellow like Bob, you've led a sheltered life, you know, but all of a sudden, he takes things, this is right out of the blue, he comes up with things, and really surprises a lot of people. No doubt about it, you learn an awful lot from being in there against Bob Orton Jr. Orton Jr., the master of the suplex, and uh, you were talking about that suplex. Ah, uh, here we go. You're about to see it done by the best. Oh! He'll work on him for a little bit, soften him up, working him, hitting him off the side of the head, and now he'll climb up there and say, let's go for a ride. Champ, this would be an E-ride at Disney, trust it's a high me. Fly. I'm telling you, I know it's a high-flying act, man. Look at, oh, wow. That should be it for William Ford. Two, three, Super slam. Super <laughs> slam. The super, super plex is what he calls it from the top rope. Bob Orton Jr., the winner of this match. And let's take a look at that on our slow motion instant replay. Luthez, if you'll describe the action. Greco Roman expert from Europe to learn something with this fellow here. This is normally done on the flat, on the mat. And off the second rope, it's unheard of. Look at this. Boom! But you see how he turns himself in midair so the man doesn't possibly fall on him? No, sir. He's a very, very good. Master, then, of course, there you see the toes applying the pressure. No yeah. way William Ford was going to get out of that. No. Stick around because we've got some exciting tag team action coming up and an interesting interview that you'll want to hear right here on the North American Wrestling Association. You guys are going to be seated extremely high. Paul Jones has joined us right now at ringside along with Bull Reagan and Vince Torelli. And uh, boy, I tell you, the gauntlet's been cast. There's a lot of people that say they want a piece of your boys in that ring. Well, that's right, Ted. I want to mention, to, uh, bring something up real quick. Uh, you know, people say uh, they wonder what's happening in wrestling today. Well, a lot of the big stars are basically over the hill. And I don't care what sport you're in, football, basketball, baseball, wrestling, it comes a time when you got to hang it up. I don't care. Now, Arnold Palmer was one of my favorite, but he couldn't stay on top any longer. And these two guys right here is what you call the new breed. The wrestlers not only of tomorrow, but of today. And you're talking about t championships and titles. These men are going to be the ones that you'll be pulling for because they're, they're going to be your champions. I have all the confidence in the world. I'm taking all my training. I'm not taking any money, any of their money, and I'm going to make champions. I promise these two that I'm going to make champions out of them. And like I tell you people, you can take that to the bank. A lot of people don't like the things I've done in the past. Well, I haven't either, so uh, we agree on there. But I'll tell you one thing, I'll make you proud of me, and I'll make these two men 
the great champions. You guys look excited. Hey, he said it all. Uh, we look up to Paul as much as anybody else. And I'm going to tell you something. If anybody can take us to the top, it's going to be Paul Jones. Well, you know, I got a good partner here, Bo Reagan. When he, uh, we tag up, he's uh, got a great amateur background. Uh, I, I've got a good at background, amateur background, so we kind of fit together with Paul Jones in our corner to, to kind of top that off. I mean, uh, how can we go wrong? Well, we've, got a, uh, we've got a pack here when we tag. We've got the experience and we've got some wrestling background combining the two of us with Paul Jones uh, behind us and then maybe giving us some support. And uh, I believe that uh, whoever comes into the organization and wants to tag against us or even single, uh, they got another thing coming because when we get in the ring, we don't mess around. We get down to the basics, and we're still learning. We're new, but we're still learning, and we're going to be there. We're going to be just as tough as anybody else because when we step in that ring, we're competitors, and we will not give up. We don't say die. Ted, they'll win the belt, and I'll show them how to keep it. Well, that is Paul Jones, Vince Torelli, and Bo Reagan. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Well, I'll tell you what, it's, uh, it's a 10-minute time limit, a 10-minute ten, ten time limit. The Nasty Boys, perhaps taking on the toughest competition they have seen since joining the North American Wrestling Association, and they're going up against the American Bulldogs, Spike and Rex, and that appears to be Spike in the ring in there right now. And they're trying to get the crowd going, champ. We're going to get them going, because they've got to pick take the toll with these two big boys because they're not in the condition these Bulldogs are in. No way. Ron West is your referee for the special match. One fall, 10-minute time limit. You better get serious, baby. I don't think conversation is going to get it here. They're going to have to get in the action. <laughs> they're going to have to throw down. They're going to have to throw down. I hear these Bulldogs are built. Oh, tell me. These Bulldogs are built. They're working at it. Spike and Knobs are in the ring right now. Whoa! A lot of people don't know this, but you know, some people that appear to be overweight and heavy, some of them are very, very strong. And this guy happens to be one of them. Champ, they grew up on the streets of New York City. I want to tell you something. Even the fact they survived. <laughs> that says something for them. <laughs> but to have survived and conquered on the streets of New York City, that tells you an awful lot about this combination known as the Nasty Boys. Ron West better stay out of their way there, buddy. It's like trying to get in front of them in the middle of two pit bulls. That's right. Spike breaking on the count. And there is, there is Nobbs accusing him of pulling it in. Well, he is built. Oh, yes. Champ, uh, I remember when I had a body like that. <laughs> That takes a lot, a lot of hard work. I said it does. That's a lot of time in the gym. You got it. A lot of dedication. You really have to be dedicated to a goal 
And their goal, of course, is to win the North American Wrestling Association Tag uh, Team Championship. You devote your lives to it. That's all you can do. I'll tell you what, it wouldn't surprise me if one of the two teams that's in the ring right now would be wearing the straps. That could very well happen, yes. Firing away, chopping him across the side of the head. Knobs in the ring right now against Spike. position to see that it was not a hair pull. You know these nasty boys, it must be intimidated somewhat by the great bodies that these young people have at the wrestling game. No doubt, no doubt. Tag is made. Sags now into the ring against against Rex. Sags applying or yes, Sags is applying the pressure. What name, Zulu? He's trying to get a hammer lock on him. Trying, but it's going to be pretty hard. Cross between a hammer lock and a double wrist lock. Trying both. There's a double wrist lock takeover. Kicking out of it. Rex. Going to try again. That'd be like trying to put a hammer lock on a fire hydrant. I'm telling you, with that kind of muscle, too. Ooh. You know, that muscle mass is unbelievable. You know, we've talked about the American Bulldogs. we got to get the Nasty Boys their fair share. They work well as a team, Lou. Well, they're going to test the fortitude. There's no quit in these guys. Some of their gut shows, but they got some inside, too. They got some inside as well. Whoa! Bulldogs applying the pressure. Tag is made into the ring right now. Comes Spike landing full thrust on the left arm of Nobs and Nobs right now. Nobs probably looking over at the corner saying, hey, Sags. What do I do from here? Where do we go? Well, I'd keep my eye. If I were Ron West, I'd keep my eye on, uh, on Sags right about now. Throw the rule book out when you see the nasties in the ring. Oh, you got, yeah, yeah. They write their own. These guys went to school at Our Lady of Charles Bronson. <laughs> Very good. Tag is made. Coming into the ring right now is Rex delivering an elbow to the back of the head. That feels great. Boy, I bet it does, huh? 250, 60 pounds coming down on the back of your Coco. Double hitter. Oh, and a double elbow for good wow. measure. Boy, I'll tell you what. We are seeing what could very well be a preview to what the Tag Team Championship bout will be. The American Bulldogs and the Nasty Boys. I hope it's going to be as good as this. Boy, toe to toe. Toe to toe. I'd buy a ticket for this. Oh, I'll tell you. If, if by some chance, when that championship match comes out, if it's not on TV, you can bet I'll be in the ringside with a couple of tickets. You'll have company, a lot of it. <laughs> and those tickets will go on sale soon. Stay tuned to your local TV and radio stations and keep watching your newspapers. We will let you know when the North American Wrestling Association will have the tag team tournament as well as the heavyweight uh, tournament the singles match tournament. We will have champions soon. Put the hammer on Sags. That is, that is Spike in the ring right now. These guys are brothers and, uh, you know, could pass as twins, though they're not exactly identical. Uh-oh. That's a rough corner to be in. Smart move to get out of there. Yeah. Great takedown. That's a cute takedown. That is a cute takedown. And I'm sure one that angers the opponent as well, Lou. Well, it's not a gamble at all. You're not going to catch anything. You just, you know, you can't get hit. No, no way. This is a 10-minute time limit. Oh, 
And the fans here would love to see a winner. And we have a good idea who they'd like to see win this one, champ. Yeah, me too. Ted Webb along with Luthez ringside. As the Nasty Boys and the American Bulldogs are in a collision course, and they have met. Bouncing off the rope, catching the knee to the back. You saw that. I yeah, sure did. Sags planting that knee to the back of Spike and making the tag. Sags into the ring. That's team wrestling. <laughs> Well, that's a lot of power that went into that backbreaker they think. These big dudes are strong. They look just strong than they look. They are strong than they really are. And once he spots that weak, that weak back, he goes to work on it some oh. more. See the, the showboating right now. He oh. should be applying a little bit more pressure on that back. That's right. But uh, they have that need to showboat. And I'll tell you what, this could cost them. This could cost them. Two minutes remaining in the match right now. Two minutes remaining in the match. The Nasty Boys and the American Bulldogs. And this certainly, this certainly could set the tempo for the tag team tournament that is coming up, Lou. That's going to be very interesting. That will certainly be an interesting tournament. Now, if this match goes to a draw, what are you going to do then? If this match goes to a draw, that will certainly uh, tell me that the next time that these two teams met, that it will be one awesome showdown. It'll have to be, yeah. You know, I mean, that's going to be the... And both careers will be in the stake. Both we are teams. We are coming up on one minute. One minute left in this match. That is the time limit. One minute left. And right now, the tide has flowed in the direction of the Nasty Boys. Powering out of there, lifting that shoulder at the count of about two and a half. Spike of the American Bulldogs into the ring right now. And if he could hold on for about another minute or so, we'll have ourselves a tie. A draw. Outside of the ring, he is hurled. Had that been over the top rope, that would have been it. That would have been it, yes. Disqualification. Uh-oh. Action continues to brew outside of the ring where oh. Sags administers punishment to Spike. Spike trying to get back into the ring. And there is uh, Nobbs trying to offer him assistance in the form <laughs> of uh, let me grab your hair and grab you back in here. Yeah, that's right. And he's got him by the hair. Back into the ring he rolls. We have to be under a minute right now in television time remaining for this bout. He's better turn him over for a pin. Try to do something. And I'll tell you what, that's a strong man he's dealing with. And there is the tag. And into the ring comes Rex. He is the legal. Le Wait a minute. The referee, Ron West, had his back turned and didn't see the tag. And Spike now is taking the brunt of both nasty boys, Sags and Nobs, as they take target practice on the back of his head. Wait a minute. Boom! That power. Time, the time limit has expired, Lou. This match is a draw. This match has been declared a draw by the referee, Ron West. It is all over, but we have ourselves a Pier 6 brawl as all four men are in the ring at the same time. Wow. Well, the fans are loving this one up, but this match is over. This match is a draw. The Nasty Boys and the American Bulldogs have fought to a 10-minute draw. I can, tell you, I can tell you right now that they obviously didn't hear the bell because the action continues. The action outside the ring right now is even more interesting than what's happening in the ring. We just saw one of the Bulldogs crack a chair over the head of one of the Nasty Boys. We'll be right back. In the ring at this time, weighing 240 pounds from Durham, North Carolina, here is Chuck Coates.
countries together. And we spent a couple of weeks in Japan one time training, and I was mightily impressed with him. And he only expounds upon his career as he goes on and on and on. Well, not to, not to digress any, but if that uh, match we saw between the Nasty Boys and the American Bulldogs is any indication of what the competition is going to be like for the tag team tournament, we're in for a heck of a time, champ. I should say. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat in the ring against Chuck Coates. The conditioning is so important. People don't really realize what a really finely conditioned man is because most people have never been there. But you take a fellow like this, no matter how tough it gets or how adverse conditions become, he always manages to eke it out some way. You know, I noticed you, you looked at me, champ, when you said most people don't know what it's like to be there. And <laughs> I didn't always look like this about a couple of months ago. I looked just like the dragon. No point of remarks. I'm sorry. <laughs> nice maneuver. Catches Ricky as he comes off the ropes. The dragon. The dragon into a side headlock. But notice how Ricky reverses it and uses it to his advantage. Had a two count. Referee Byron Richard. While he's falling on his back, he's thinking of what he's going to do. No doubt about it. Oh, sure. Cat quick. Cat you, quick reflexes. Cat quick on the brain. You, you got it. One or two steps ahead of every move that he's he's uh, seeing his opponent using. The name of the game. Yeah. You talk about uh, uh, probably the best counter maneuver man in the business right now. And it's a matter of setting mouse traps to the guy will go for and all of a sudden he's got him snatched. You know, and that's it's, it just comes in there like a matter of course. You don't have to think about it, you just do it. Got him into that sunset flip. One, two, the dragon powers out. Side headlock again, take down. Ricky hooking that leg again. Who's spinning who? Who's spinning who here? <laughs> There's another one of those mouse traps you were talking about. Uh -huh. Well, these guys take a beating, Lou. They take a tremendous beating night after night after night and stay in tremendous shape. How do, how do you guys do that? Well, you enjoy doing it, really. Yeah, all of a sudden you get to know that you're a little bit different than most people. And uh, it's an ego trip, you know. We all have vanity. If we didn't have some sort of vanity, we'd all be slobs, you know. There you are looking at me again. <laughs> Side headlock from Chuck Coates on Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. He may have gone too far this time, but watch the dragon. Hip lock takedown. Did you see him fly? Hard drag takedown. Applying the pressure on Coach, and the dragon has come to life. Boy, how many times we've seen the dragon apply that series of maneuvers. Oh, God. He's, he's unbelievable. And then he's going to punish you, too. He's going to let you know he's got you by the tail, and he's going to tug on it. And the crowd getting behind this one. Pull it off, they're yelling. All great athletes have tricky reflex. Their reflex is just a little sharper than anyone else. Watch what Ricky does with the wrist here, champ. He does it. Baseball play, everything. But reflex. Not just working on the arm, but he's actually putting that point of, of pressure right there on the wrist, using the fingers. The whole thing. Coach right about now is losing feeling in that arm. You know, when you get that numbing feeling, that little tingling. That doesn't work properly. <laughs> Coach now says, well, I better go to my bag of tricks here to see if I can break out of this. And he pops Steamboat in the face a couple of times. He better watch out. You stick your finger in a hornet's nest, you're going to get bit. And that's what Mr. Coach is doing right now. Firing away, taking target practice on the head of Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Byron Richard calling for the break and a great reversal by the Dragon. Double shot to the top. And Chuck Coach has an instant sore throat. Setting them up. Setting them up. Television time limit now. This match could have been a draw simply because we run out of time. And if we do, we will show you the video replay of the, the end of it next week. From the top row, hooking the leg. We may not have to show that replay. It is all over. The winner of this match, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Piece of cake for him. Boy, I'll tell you what. Let's take a look at this on our slow motion instant replay. You tell us the action as it happens, champ. Well, as he comes off the top rope here, it's impossible to handle that kind of weight on the way down. The other fellow knows it's coming. He's trying to prevent it, but he cannot. 230 pounds, and then he hooks that leg, and it's goodbye, Lola. 
We'll be back to wrap it up in a couple of moments. Steamboy joining me right now at uh, Ringside. Gentlemen, it's great to have you here on board. It's starting to heat up that championship tournament uh, right around the corner. You look like you're ready. No, I'm definitely ready. Like I said before, I'm training. I'm in shape. I'm ready for any of these guys. The nasty boys, they talk big and bad. We'll just bring it on, baby, because me and Ricky were ready to take you down anytime. Bob Orton, any of the guys, we're ready. Ricky, uh, certainly a tough match against Chuck Coach, but uh, you proved that uh, the talent was there. Uh, too much, too much for Mr. Coach. Well, you know something, Ted, you got a lot of young guys that are up and coming in this business, and it's sort of, I can relate to that, because I can re think back to how I, how I was years ago starting in this wrestling profession. I was hungry, I was eager, and I wanted to make a name for myself. At times, when you have been to the top and then there's no other way but down, you sort of get maybe a little lazy. Maybe you, you, your guard is down just for a few seconds here and there. And you get some young, hungry lion in there against uh, a seasoned veteran that may have his guard down, and the next thing you know, my shoulders could have been down over the mat for a one, two, three. I give credit where credit due. The young kid's good. I'm glad to have a big fellow like this on my side. We're talking right now, negotiating, and I think we're filling in the small spaces but I think we're going to be right up there at the very top during this tag team tournament. I'll tell you what. We you can bet that the fans out there, that whenever they see this Indian and this Hawaiian out there in that ring, that we're going to give it our best shot. But I'll tell you something right now. I'd like for some time that the next time they do television for the Indian and the Hawaiian to go up against those nasty boys and see if we can beat them that's before right. the time's expired. Well, that certainly lays it on the table right I guess, now. I guess that's going to just be left up to the promotion. And if you're listening out there, we'd like to give it a shot. All you fans that are watching and listening out there, go ahead and write in to the organization if you'd like to see that match. Because this man and myself would sure like to give those nasty boys a little run. Well, I tell you, they had their hands full with the American Bulldogs tonight. We can certainly... We can certainly tell you that the competition for that tag team championship is going to be awesome. Uh, you know, you talk about Orton, his partner, Samiti, coming back from Japan. Your combination, Torelli and Reagan, the uh, the American Bulldogs, the Nasty Boys, it's going to get hotter. Hey, there's no question about it. This area, all of a sudden, in such a short period of time, has really started to become a hotbed of professional wrestling. I'm just so happy, and I'm sure everybody out there is so happy, that we're bringing it back to the Carolinas like the way it's supposed to be. All right, Ricky the Dragon, Steamboat, and Chief Warrior Eagle Chavis, on behalf of Luthez, Ted Webb saying so long, everyone. Mistake last week. You should never have brought those guys down. Superheroes, I'll tell you what, you're looking at the superheroes. You're talking about the horsemen. We rule wrestling. Make one more bad move today, and that's going to be the end of you. Tell them. What happened, Rock? Did the ceiling just open up? And JYD, Orndorff, Luger, Sting just parachuted uh, in the building, decided they're going to designate themselves guardian angels of the NWA. Well, my friend, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. It didn't say, says Sting, Luger, JYD, 